The ship that'll fly astronauts into space from the Kennedy Space Center is about ready. My heart is sitting right here and I think it's going to stay there uh, until we get Bob and Doug safely back from the International Space Station. Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley will put their lives on the line May 27th to make history. They'll sit in a privately built, privately owned SpaceX Dragon capsule, and that's what's got the president of SpaceX so anxious. We spent years working on this vehicle. We think about uh, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, and then Space Shuttle. Um, those are really the, you know, the four times in history when we have put humans on brand new spacecraft. Those humans are NASA astronauts. They work for the government, which is buying them a ticket on this new private space transport that's revolutionizing space flight. But there's one thing that's the same, the risk of the very first flight on a new kind of vehicle. If you're under 39 years old, you weren't alive the last time that happened here. And the last time the United States did it, was on STS-1 when we launched the space shuttle for the first time back in 1981. At a time when our entertainment and sports have gone dark, spaceflight is returning. This is going to be on May 27th, like getting the World Series, the Stanley Cup, the Super Bowl all rolled into one. Spaceflight is returning to Central Florida with all the drama, all the excitement, and yes, all the anxiety that goes with it. On the Space Coast, Dan Billow, WESH 2 News.